So this is the Klein Scout VDV Scout Pro 2 VDV 501-098. Uh, this is one of the testing tools that we use for testing network cables. It does test phone lines and coax, but I don't really do much of that. There's a few different models of this, and uh, this is the one that has the features like the toning and things like that. They make a cheaper one. Uh, this is the 501-098, uh, but they do make cheaper ones that are missing some of the extra features I found out. Uh, I wanted the one that had the toning and everything. So when I turn it on, it's got um, the, really it's on off or by default is ID mode. So that's when you're in the data mode. So it's looking. And right now it says fail. Now this comes with, I bought the kit that's got the one here, but I actually I have a bunch of these. And what these are here is each one's labeled, and I'll show you right here in a second, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what each of these does is gives a different ID. So we're just gonna plug in one here real quick. So this is the one, it's the one that comes in the back of it. And we can see ID one right here. So now let's plug in the second one. And it identifies with ID two. And of course with the third one, ID three. And you notice it's testing all the pins on here. So it's going through and making sure every pin is working. Now how we use this in the rack is we'll take and plug all these in. So I'm going to put three into three, two into port two. And then the base, which is, you can kind of see it here, maybe weird at this angle, but it's got a one inside of it because the base is always one. And then what you do is on the other end, we've punched a couple of these down, you would find them this way and figure out which one they're at. So you'll run across, you put these in here. Now obviously when we get over to eight, because we have more in here, then you start over nine through the next one and count them off of that. And that's how we'll do all the labeling as we we'll sit with the label gun. So we run all these in here and that way at the same time that we're testing each port and checking to make sure every pin works, it's also, giving us the ID of which port it's plugged into so we're able to go around and label eight at a time. Now I'll show you how this tests through here. So if you can picture this being at a wall plate somewhere and then we plug it in here. And this one happens to be on ID one. Then we plug it into this one and it's at ID two. It's at the same time tested, made sure all the pins are working and the ID is working. So this is really good for troubleshooting wires and things like that. And I can show you what happens if we actually cut a wire, it'll drop the connection. And you notice as soon as I cut it, I don't even have to restart the test. As I've cut a pair, it immediately lets me know which ones are dropped out. So I cut three, I've cut seven, I've cut eight. So as I cut these, now only pins four and five. And those ones, when I pinched them together, it was showing a short. So let's try it on the other side here. Let's pull these ones out. Now what I've done here is cut one and then put them wrong. So now what it's telling you is where the crossovers are. So I actually have pin five moved over to pin two and it's letting me know. So this is really, it says fail, says open, so I know you have one of these circuits is open. It notices for cross wire, it's testing the cables, and uh, it works really great. Now another feature when you're trying to find something on a rack that this has built into it, and this is one of the reasons I like this model, let's flip it back over, is it also has a tone generator built in. So this actually knows at the same time and it's telling you what pins it's generating the tones on and away you go. So definitely a nice, really handy tool. Uh, really like it. We've been using it for a while. We've done a lot of jobs. It's simple. It's rugged. It's uh, been abused in the field now for about a year probably. It's been dropped off ladders and it's... Uh, it works really well. Uh, definitely a thumbs up for that as, as a great tool for doing networking. Um, I've never really used it for the cable and phone much, but it does work for that too. Uh, if you do it for the cabling, it does come with this, uh, so you can actually plug it right into the coax on there, which is kind of novel, but nothing I've really done. Same with the phone lines. Uh, there's the phone line is only built into these. This doesn't number for phone lines. These only number for network. So make sure if you're ordering them, you're getting the network one and not the one for phone. I think they have a separate tool for those, but yeah. These are pretty cool, the test and map ID remotes by uh, Klein Tools. Highly recommend the product. Uh, works well for us and it's not that expensive. I'll throw a link below uh, to where we bought
bought it from Amazon. Thanks.